We love power ballads here at Brain Munch, so we wanted to make you a power quiz that you'll love too. Make sure to leave your results in the comment section, and here we go. Question number one. Which song was recorded by Phil Collins in 1983 and covered by Mariah Carey in 2000? And the answer, Against All Odds, also known as Take a Look at Me Now. Question number two. The song Home Sweet Home was recorded by which band? And the answer, Motley Crue. Question number three. Which song is known as Foreigner's biggest hit single? And the answer, I want to know what love is. Question number four. The song Can't Fight This Feeling was recorded by which band? And the answer, Ario Speedwagon. Question number five. Every Breath You Take was written by which artist? And the answer is Sting. Question number six. Which band released Making Love Out of Nothing at All in 1983? And the answer is Air Supply. Question number seven. Which bangle song became a number one hit in nine countries when it was released in 1989? And the answer is Eternal Flame. Question number eight. Which song is featured as the theme song from the movie Top Gun? And the answer is, take my breath away. Question number nine. Fill in the missing lyrics for the song Lady by Styx. Lady of the morning, love in your eyes. And the answer is, shines. Question number 10. Which iconic Queen song became a popular victory song in the sports world? And the answer is, we are the champions. Question number 11. I'll be there for you by Bon Jovi was released from which album in 1988? And the answer is New Jersey. Question number 12. Which song was covered in the CBS sitcom Dreams by Valerie Stevenson and John Stamos? And the answer is Alone. Question number 13. Bon Jovi's song, Never Say Goodbye, was written by John Bon Jovi and who? And the answer is Richie Sambora. Question number 14. Which Eric Carmen song was on the soundtrack for Dirty Dancing? And the answer is Hungry Eyes. Question number 15. Finish the lyrics. Nothing lasts forever and we both know hearts can change. So I'll just end up walking in the cold. And the answer is November Rain by Guns N' Roses. 
Question number 16. Which song is the biggest hit single by the band Night Ranger? And the answer is Sister Christian. Question number 17. Which Aerosmith song was the only one to hit number one on the US Billboard Hot 100? And the answer is, I don't want to miss a thing. Question number 18. How many weeks did the song Two Out of Three Ain't Bad by Meatloaf stay on the US Billboard Hot 100? And the answer is 23 weeks. Question number 19. What year did the song Listen to Your Heart by Roxette release? And the answer is 1988. Question number 20. Which Starship song was featured as the theme song for the 1987 movie, Mannequin? And the answer is, nothing's gonna stop us now. Question number 21. Close My Eyes Forever was a duet by Lita Ford and who? And the answer is Ozzy Osbourne. Question number 22. Which Van Halen song reached number one on the US mainstream rock chart in 1988? And the answer is When It's Love. Question number 23. Which song by Meatloaf reached number one in 28 countries? And the answer is, I'd do anything for love, but I won't do that. Question number 24. What year did the song Dream On by Aerosmith release? And the answer is 1973. Question number 25. Which Steve Perry hit reached number three on the US Billboard Hot 100 in 1984? And the answer is O oh Sherry. Question number 26. Which band released the song Love Bites in 1988? And the answer is Def Leppard. Question number 27. What common song element is notably missing on the popular Journey song Faithfully? And the answer is a chorus. Question number 28. Fly to the Angels by Slaughter was released from what album? And the answer is Stick It To Ya. Question number 29. What month and year did the song Every Rose Has Its Thorn by Poison reach number one on the US Billboard Hot 100? And the answer is December 1988. Question number 30. To the closest minute, how long is the album version of the song November Rain by Guns N' Roses? And the answer is nine minutes. And today's true or false bonus question is, the composer of Total Eclipse of the Heart originally started writing the song for Meatloaf. <laughs>